I'm going to share a very simple word. And then I believe God is going to, to minister to us in a very special way. I want to share on the subject how to receive your healing. How to receive your healing, or you can just call it divine healing. Someone say amen. Exodus chapter number 15 and verse number 26. Exodus, the Old Testament, chapter number 15, verses number 26. He said, if you listen carefully, carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in whose eyes? In his eyes. If you pay attention to his commands and you keep all of his decrees, he says, I will not bring on you any of the diseases that I brought on the Egyptians. Because when it comes to you, I am the Lord who heals you. Someone say amen. Someone say amen. I am the Lord who heals you. It tells you that God, Jesus Christ, is our healer. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse number 15. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses number 15. The Lord himself, may he keep you, not from some disease, but he will keep you from every disease. Oh my God, someone say amen. amen. He will not inflict on you the horrible diseases that you knew in Egypt. But he will inflict them on all who hate you. God has no plan of sickness and diseases for your life. His plan for your life is divine health, divine healing, a strong body, a strong mind. Shout a good amen. Psalms 107 verse number 20. Psalms 107 verses number 20. He will send out his word. And when that word comes to you, that word will heal you. Today may the word of God heal you. And he will rescue you from the grave. Give me the kingdom's fashion if possible. Tell your neighbor you will not die before your time. Uh, GMB, I will not die before my time. The word of God will heal you. The word of God will deliver you from the powers of destruction. From the powers of the grave. Jesus is your healer. In redemption healing became our inheritance. You need to understand that you receive it for yourself and you accept it in your life. You must receive divine healing in your life. Isaiah 53 verses number 5. Isaiah 53 verses number 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Somebody shout three times, I am healed. Say it again, I am healed. Say it again, I am healed. By the stripes of Jesus, you are the healed of the Lord. I want you to know today that today is your healing day. The way you normally have your birthday, today is your healing day. 
somebody shout today is my healing day even if you are not sick in your body by yourself anybody in your family anybody among your loved ones whose the enemy is attacking their health today is the day that the Lord has made that you may rejoice in your healing whether they are in the hospital whether they are back at home we send the word of healing somebody shout amen be seated for a moment I have a few points so that I look like I'm prepared someone say amen isn't it interesting that when God created man he even did not provide provision for medication because he did not expect man to live in sickness. From the word go, his plan for your life and for my life is that we live a life that is sickless. A life that has no illnesses in our bodies. Psalms chapter number 103 from verse number 1 to verse number 3. Psalms chapter number 103 from verse number 1 to verse number 3. Bless the Lord O oh my soul and all that is within me. Do what? Bless his holy name. Verses number two. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Look at the benefits. Verse number three. Who forgiveth us all thy iniquities. By the way, do I have people here who are forgiven? Do I have people you know very well? Where to kikumbuka yako naona yenyewe kuna nguvu ya msamaha. Shout I am forgiven. And then he healeth us not some diseases. Not only major diseases. Not only small or big diseases. He healeth us all thy diseases. I declare today all thy diseases shall be healed. I declare today you shall be the healed of the Lord. Shout a powerful amen. Sickness is not your property. Sickness is not your property. Sickness belongs to the devil. And I want you today to stir up your faith. To go beyond the symptoms you have seen. Or the symptoms that you have. And to begin to believe God. That God is going to be your surgeon. But any sickness and any spirit hiding in your bones shall be evacuated. I say it shall be evacuated. Shout Jesus, say somebody. Somebody shout Jesus. But let's answer this very simple question, dear children of God. What is the cause of sickness and disease in the lives of people? What is the real cause? Or what is this that opens doors for sicknesses and diseases to enter our lives? Number one, Satan is the cause of sickness and diseases. Satan Bring sickness and diseases in the lives of people. Job chapter 2 verse number 7. Job chapter 2 verses number 7. You will give me different version. So Satan, he went forth from the presence of the Lord. And this Satan is the one that smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot even unto his crown. Sometimes when people talk about Job, it's like sickness just appeared. Give me another version if it is possible. I hope I'm not. The Bible says about Satan. Satan went from the presence of the Lord and Satan himself afflicted Job with painful sores and 
salt of his feet even to the crown of his head. This is not about his lifestyle. It had nothing to do whether he was exercising or not. It had nothing to do with his background. It was a satanic arrow. Satan targeted the life of Job. And this is why I came from Eldoret. To say every spirit, every Satan, Satan of cancer, Satan of HIV, Satan of leukemia, that has inflicted your body, lift your hand, say in the name of Jesus, every powers of darkness, occultic diseases, fighting my life, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Can I hear somebody pray here? 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 Rakatana masanda la baba ba, rekata la la baba ba ba bosa, yanto la mana gambere bosa, rekasanda balaga baba, la kanta na mana gambala gosa, ya balago sanda la la baba. Every form of boil, every form of diseases uh, over your body, uh, we cast it out uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, shout a big amen. Be seated. Satan can cause sicknesses. You know, sometimes people talk as if we, we, we are fighting science or as if us who preach we have no respect for education or scientific innovations per se in the world of medicine no 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 what we are saying is behind a lot of sickness and diseases there is a spirit there is a satan you could talk to job and wonder job what happened satan did it satan did it Satan can cause sickness even if you eat healthy. Yeah. Satan can cause diseases. I have seen countless times healthy people, they enter the hospital. They are told it is stage 4. Stage 3. You wonder how? It was an arrow. It was an arrow. Let me tell you. Satan can attack a church through sickness and diseases. He can attack a family through sickness and diseases. Your body is so important to God. Your body is so important to God. In fact, when Moses died, they came and began fighting over his body. Because his body was so important to God, God could not use him without his body. And I want to tell you today, you can be so anointed, but if you are sick, you can't do so much. You can't do very, very much. Someone say amen. You can be so gifted. You can have a great destiny. But when Satan attacks you, I want you to know today, Satan shall be under your feet. I say Satan shall be under your feet. Somebody shout, devil, you are a liar. You did not say it again. Say, my devil, you are a liar. And I tell you today, it doesn't matter what killed who. You shall not die. Uh, I repeat again. It doesn't matter what killed who. Our faith is not on other people's experiences. Our faith. I say our faith is in the living word of God. It is in the living word of God. Shout amen. Number two, the ignorance of a believer can bring sickness and diseases. The ignorance of a believer can bring sickness and diseases. Psalm 32, verse 5 to 7. Psalm 32, verse 5 to 7. The 
They know not. They know not. Neither will they understand. They are walking in darkness which is ignorance. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Because of this, I have said to you, ye are gods. All of you are children. By the way, do you have your children of the most high God? Uh, uh, tell your neighbor, I am a child of the most high God. I know there is so much theology debate around that, but, uh, but what I know, that is the word of God. Ye are gods, all of you. You are not aware of this. But what cannot kill Jesus cannot kill you. There is a DNA you carry. All of you are children of the Most High God. Verse number 3, 7 says, But because of your ignorance, you are dying like mere men. I declare to somebody here today, you will not just die like that. Uh, I say again, you will not just die like, like that. You are a God in a human body. You will not die just like that. I declare over your life, that sickness must leave your body. I say that sickness must leave your body. You know what I'm going to say, my father, I receive understanding. I receive your knowledge. Whatever I must know, louder, whatever I must know, for me to be healed, from now I know, from now I know, receive it in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Ignorance. I want to challenge you to go deeper in the word of God. I want to challenge you to go higher in revelation. Ignorance will cause sickness and diseases. Number three, bitterness and forgiveness. Bitterness and unforgiveness will bring sicknesses in your body. I need to tell someone here today, my sister, forgive your husband. My brother, forgive your wife. Pastor, forgive those members. Members, forgive that pastor. Forgive the people who hurt you. This thing will defile your body. Hebrews 12, verse number 15. Hebrews 12, verses number 15. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God lest any root of bitterness springing up begin to trouble you and thereby many are defiled they died anyhow uliza jirani yako ni nani umekataa kusamea muulize tu na please jirani peana jina peana jina peana jina peana jina peana jina ni nani huyo umekataa kusamehea Ni nani huyo umesema ah siezi samehea I declare today may the grace of forgiveness land and come over your heart ah tell your number vile umekasirika ninaona ni kama kuna mtu In the year 207 in Eldoret, in Eldoret, the year 207, I know of a very good pastor friend of mine. That pastor, because of the post election violence, they came and burnt down his house. He lost everything. Totally everything. But the worst part of it is that the people who burnt his house were people he knew, they were friends. This pastor, before I came to know, he was in a Lord referral hospital fighting high blood pressure, 
fighting in Etwaje, answers fighting migraine too he was literally sick i could see like this man he wants to die but i went there i talked to him i prayed with him and i left and i was having only one message for him forgive forgive believe you me today Gresswell. in three days he sat down wrote the names of the people who had hurt him I had instructed him and told them, I have forgiven you. In one day, he woke up. Totally healed. Just because he gave himself permission to forgive people who hurt him. There are people who can hurt you and you can really know. This one, I'm not pretending. I am hurt so well. But I tell you today, there is grace to forgive. Ah, ah, someone say I forgive. Sema we kwa royangu ni mekuachilia leo. Ni mekuachilia leo. Ni mekuachilia leo. And I'm telling you today, there are people here. You are going to forgive somebody, and you will go home with your healing. I say you will go home with your healing. Somebody shout, Amen. Bitterness can defile you. Number four, why people get sick. Is because of unbelief. Unbelief. You believe so much in your symptoms. More than you believe in the word of God. Mark chapter 6. Verse number 5 to verse number 6. Mark chapter number 6. Verse number 5. To verses number 6. The Bible says. Jesus himself. And even there, he could do no mighty work. Even though he was doing mighty works everywhere. Except that he laid his hands upon a few sick people and he healed them. Look at the next verse. The Bible says, verse number 6, And he marveled. He was shocked because of what? Their unbelief. Their unbelief hindered Jesus from healing the sick. And today, I bind every spirit of unbelief. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell your neighbor, come out of your unbelief. Ah, unajua hakusiki yangi pako muambie tena ha. Muambie, come out of your unbelief. Do you believe that cancer can disappear? Oh yeah, I see unbelief here. Let me try here. Do you believe that God can heal your blood? He can heal your bones. He can heal your skin. He can heal your liver. He can heal your intestines. Shout I believe. I believe. You know, sometimes as a pastor, I... I always marvel how people want to make their problems look special. Tell your neighbor, stop exalting your problems. You tell them you are healed. How many of you believe you are healed? If you are believed, if you believe you are healed, begin to behave like your faith. If you believe you are healed, come out of your bed. Begin walking. If you believe you are healed, even if you are eating and you feel like vomiting, vomit and eat again. Because you are healed. I declare over your life, receive faith for you are healing. I say receive faith for you are healing. Shout amen. You better go through everything. Refuse to doubt your God. I say refuse to doubt your God. Hey, someone say you amen. Hey, one Sunday I woke up. 
And I realized when I went to the gents, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not normal. So, I, my wife is a nurse. So, I have an easy akiliza. The medicine, I can't even get it. Ah, pastor, this is not good. I woke up at night. Katika tekete, raklesa gababa. Satan, did you forget what Jesus did for me? Hey, I went to the hospital. They told me this is called occultic bleeding. I just hated that word, occultic. I was like, how do you give a disease something like what? How, how do you call? How do you call a sickness at occultic bleeding? I, I knew this is the devil. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I prayed against, you know, you have to fight things in your head. Hey, someone say amen. Someone say amen. And I went and that thing disappeared forever. Forever. What did you take? Holy communion. Ah, Apostle gave us a testimony. He came home. He gave us a testimony of how taking communion brought healing in his body. I wrote on that testimony. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, when will you ever believe God? When will you ever believe God? When will you ever believe God? We are telling you you can be a millionaire. You are telling us about your issues. When will you ever believe God? I'm looking for people here who even if the doctor says this is the report, they will say I have a higher report. I say I have a higher report. And the report says I will never be sick. I will never die prematurely. Clap your hands for Jesus somebody. Be seated. Hey, you will not die before your time. Someone say amen. I'm seeing some BFC people here. Oh, what were BFC men in Wasone? These are people from my church. God bless you for coming. Thank you. Uh, that's, a, that's a good surprise. Amen. God bless you. Someone say amen. Do I have some believers here? I'm preaching very simple, but God will come. He is here. Can I give you number five? This one you will like it. Can I give you number five? Things that bring sickness and diseases. Jealousy and grudges. Jealousy and grudges. Proverbs 14 verse 30. New Living Translation. I don't know if you've ever read this scripture anybody. Proverbs 14 30. NLT if possible. A relaxed attitude lengthens life. But jealousy will rot it away. Give me another Give me another version. Give me another version. Do, do, uh, ah, bus. A calm and peaceful and tranquil heart is life and health. Where? To the body. But passion and envy are like rottenness. So sometimes you may think it is the devil. But it is your envy. Do you have the message? I think I like the message. Passion. Passion is the better one. I think I think it's the passion that there is no eh? bus a tender tranquil heart. healthy but I jealous but jealous ask your neighbor why are you sick why why are you why are you sick this is why 
when you drive a Range Rover today, me, I'm so glad. Because if my neighbor is blessed with a good car, it means God is in the neighborhood. And my time is coming. Celebrate when other people are blessed. Ah, we declare jealousy will have no power over your life. Eh? Good news. I like it. You know, somebody spreads like cancer. Bus. I think I'll give me good news. Yeah, good news. Yeah. Oh. Receive the peace of mind. Peace of mind. Let's receive our, our Reverend Lee. Welcome, Uma. Welcome, welcome. God bless you so much. Hey. Amen. Welcome so much, woman of God. We celebrate you. Nataka to so make a memory verse. Proverbs 14, verse 30. And I want us to read like Sunday school children. Are we ready to touch? One, two, three, let's go. Peace. Healthy. But jealousy is like a cancer. This is exactly why the enemy is after the peace of your mind. This is exactly what. This is why there is no place you'll find jealousy like in the ministry. There is no place you'll find jealousy like in families. The enemy is not just after your blessing. He knows. Once jealousy has entered your heart. It is taking over your health. I rebuke the spirit of competing. You know, I, I, sometimes I, like this time, I draw from, from a lot. Sometimes I get surprised that you can reach like Timboroa or let me say Nakuru. Mutu wa overtake na speed. Paku na sinu, kwani gari yangu? Ayendangi. Then unampata tu hapo mbele ananunua waru. Unashindwa the way you are running. Where were you going? Who told you that they are ahead of you does not mean you will not arrive. Who tells you God is done with the blessing people? Let me tell you, Apostle, this is the truth of life. Even some of our prayer points are driven by jealousy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is not because it is the will of God for your life. It is because you saw somebody else with it and you have a feeling of why not me? Why not me? And people are wondering, these people, the way they love God, where are they getting this this these answers. How what to believe when I see Kanisani? Well, he tore our peace, my gonzwa, jealousy. It is a spirit that is hiding. The Bible says, if, there's another one that says jealousy spreads like cancer all over your body. I don't know which other. I, I, and I think it's NLT. There's another NLT. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I chana na wifu. I... This is why we are sick. Somebody gets married. It is jealousy. Somebody is blessed with a job. It's jealousy. This is why people in the house of God, pastors are sick. Somebody is building a 1,000 seater church with some mimi in three. Na ni 500. Unajenga hospitali we mwenyewe ndi unawe kwa ndani. Why are you building a hospital? I saw somebody else doing it. I declare no more jealousy in your life. I say no more jealousy in your life. That's the one. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Somebody open your mouth and pray for a peaceful heart. Lift your hand and pray like never before. 
Oh God, give me a peaceful heart. I will not worry because of what I'm eating. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. I refuse to be unhappy because somebody else is happy. I refuse to be jealous. I refuse to be jealous. I refuse to be jealous. I receive contentment in my heart. Santo Procolo Logosa. Rika Tante Rebeketere Rebaba. La Canto Nemanegande Rebaba. Sante Nagentala Rebaba. In the name of Jesus. If you know that you know you are delivered from jealousy forever, give Jesus a powerful clap offering wherever you are. Why are you doing what you're doing? Did God call you to do it? Oh, you're just jealous. Do you have a relaxed mind? Where do you get your insomnia? Yet he gives his beloved. Where did you get this? Where are you turning every day? Every day you are turning in your blanket, in your sheets, in your duvet. You are so disturbed because inside your heart, you believe you are better than that one and yet they are ahead of you. Sasa tumeanza kukuona macho mebadilika awon. Your intellect is sick. You now have a dull mind. You used to have good memory. Squeeze sayoto mesau. Ate leo lisau simu nyombani. There is something about jealousy. You will not be jealous in your life. Hey, someone say amen. Kwanzia leo ukisikia mtu anapanga harusi, support them. You know me I've been I've been in the ministry since I'm not very old but I've been in the ministry all my life. Ni kama hii kanisa kuna kuanga na classes. Ni kama hii kanisa kuna kuanga na discrimination. Ikikuwa ni harusi ya watu fulani and you are support you. No, no, no. You are jealous. You are struggling with people being blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you here for free. This is one of the main reasons we have sicknesses in the body of Christ. What wa lali? What wa wana aman? Ukisikia nani yako na anointing kidogo Uwa metangaza 70 days Prayer eh? But it's true You can be jealous of someone's anointing Am I right? Oh yeah Do you know me the way I admire Apostle and, and, and Reverend Lee When they can say Stand up, stand up, stand up uh, I, I don't know what this means to you You know, he, I, I used to have a big tent. And he came and preached and then he told me, Pastor, I see you rolling this tent. And I see you going to preach in town. It was not in my head. In less than one month, circumstances made me to fold the tent. Oh, I admire. But if tomorrow, if I go to my church and say, ah, come, 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 come. Stand, 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 stand. I, 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 I see, I see a something... So, let him come and prophesy. Let me come and declare. I have no business competing with anyone. The ten members I have, I did not give me them to myself. God gave them to me. And I'm happy. 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 When you have these things, you will not have to... You will not have to leave the service, go outside and take a picture of the parking and then rush to Facebook to show people I have people. Yes. Amen. No matter what you are going to do, no matter what you are going to do, someone has done already. Ata leo fanya arusi ya milioni kumi. 
Watu wa milioni 20 washafanya. Have you ever discovered when you buy a new car before you go far you find newer ones? Inatolewa karatasi. So the best thing is to be contented. Have a peaceful heart. My time will come. Mimi naambianga Mungu Mungu bora sijakosana na wewe. Mimi niko tu sawa. Mimi niko tu sawa. Another point why people are sick. Not having a proper connection with your pastor. Oh yeah. And please I mean proper genuine connection with your man of God. Your silence is really worrying me here. Give me the book of Job chapter 33 verse 21. Kuendelea. This is why we are burying people we are not supposed to be burying. Job chapter number 23 33 I'm sorry. Verse 21 from verse 21. Look at this verse. His flesh is being consumed away. This man is dying. Even his bones cannot be seen. That his flesh is consumed. That it cannot be seen. And his bones that were not seen. Mifupa. Yanu mekonda paka. Tumahansa kuona mifupa. Let's continue. Are sticking out. Yet even his soul is drawing Noah closer to death. And his life is going to the destroyers. Why? Because there is no messenger with him. There is no an interpreter. This is a preacher. This is a prophet. Not even one among thousands. Who can show him the right way of doing things? Look, look at the next verse. When he does that, then he is gracious unto him. When you find such a man, he will deliver you from going down to the pit. You will have found your ransom. Your problem is you have no connection with a messenger. Give me a message. Apostle is helping you to preach here. Ask your neighbor, why are you fighting your pastor in your heart? This is why there is too much sickness in the body of Christ. Every, have you discovered, uh, Apostle, I'll, I'll, I'll be teaching this in the afternoon. One of your biggest fights in your Christian journey is to stick with your man of God. Oh yeah. But even then an angel could come, a champion. There are thousands of them to take up your cause. A messenger who would mercifully intervene. Cancelling the death sentence with words. This is why when we stand here and we say you can't die before your time, we are not trying to make you active. We are not trying to make you active in church. We are instituting, we are establishing something that will ensure that disease cannot come in your life. That is why next pastors in the spirit. James chapter 5, verse 14. I'm telling you. And I've seen it even in my, my life as a pastor. People who have connected to my grace completely. But when somebody has healing for you in their mouth, but in your heart you're saying, Unajua, Waubi was squeezy. We are even afraid to ask you to support the work of God because. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders. These elders are not the richest people in the church. 
These elders are not the oldest people in the church. These are pastors. Let them come and pray over you. The question is, you, when you are sick, which elder will you call? Are you going to call Benihin? Are you going to call T.D. Jacks? Will they come over you? Will they come with oil? Do they have oil? Look at, look, will Pastor Selman come to Kenyatta Hospital? You know, one time I was told one of my sons is sick in the hospital. I went there at night and I saw this man is sick. I removed my coat. Nani kamfunika nayo nani kaenda. Asubi alikuwa amepona. Because he is my son. Look, look at look look at verse 15. When that man of God comes, this is what he's going to do after anointing you with oil. He will pray a prayer of faith. In the name of Jesus be healed. Hata kama unatetemeka mwili na katala lakini kesho utaona Ni kama na meanza kuwana vizu. Let me tell you. The fight in your heart with your pastor is about your health. Yes, sir. This is why you want to conda. This is why you want to sawa. This is why you want to mahanga iko na mahanga iko. Ashuguli za kinasi. I know every genuine pastor has faced it. I have, I have sat in church. Somebody leaving me. And I know in my heart they have left their destiny. Lakini kwa sababu sitaki kuonekana niko na kiburi, unjo wataona nikana kwamba hata pastor alinipigia jana usiku. Wanauliza nanga aliniulizia. Wao wamepigiwa. Utakata miaka kumi, uta discover you lost something. Utapiwa kanisa upate mago? Mutu amekuja kanisani kwetu. Ametoa sacrifice. Sama pastor kwetu, kuna uchawi na kuna kansa. Nimeleta hitha piu kwa ima thabao. Na amini mungu nitapona. Wewe maambia kwa sababu sadaka unakula hiyo. Umekula nini? Akisema nimeleta hii pesa kansa itoke kwa mwili wangu nipone. Ni nini hiyo ameweka hapo? Wewe unaenda unanunua simu. Unaenda unalipa rent. Haujalipa rent. Umenunua kaburi. Nikaburi umenunua. The reason you are taking that money is because there is how you view your pastor. This is why many are sick amongst us. I'm telling you today, ladies and gentlemen, we can live in good health. If you lo- I'll talk about it in the afternoon. If you love your pastor, your pastor must feel it. Yeah, they must feel it. They must. I need. I, I. I need to feel. I need to feel you in the church. Oh yeah. Ask your neighbor. Does your pastor feel you? Yeah. yeah. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. You remember First Kings chapter seventeen? I was to read it in the, in, the, in the afternoon, but let me just read it. Then I think we'll pray. I have so many points. First Kings chapter 17. Give me First Kings 17. Ay, yeah. ay, 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 ay. Mi natangaza hapa. Mutaishi maisha maref. Maisha yenye afya. Hey, someone say amen. Give me First Kings chapter 17, verse number 17. Let's begin verse let's 16, maybe. 16 to, 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 to somewhere there. And the battle of meal. Western not, neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of the Lord which he spoke through his servant Elijah. And it came to pass after these things hey, that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, this person, he fell sick. 
But his sickness was so sore. There was no breath left in him. This one. Alijua tu hapa kina umana. Nitaenda kutafuta nani? My pastor. Look at what he did. And she said unto Elijah. Elijah. Ask your neighbor. Do you have a pastor? Wakati magonjo emeshika. Alijua mimi uyu pastor. Apo tu nyuma nilimulisha vizuri. Nika mjenge hako sawa. What have you done? Oh you thou man of God. Art thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance? Kwani nimefanya makosa? Ulifika hapa ndio mtoto wangu afe. Look at what he said, the prophet. <laughs> he said unto her, ah. Nipatie hiyo kijana. Meaning they have a relationship. And he took him out of her bosom. Carried him up into a loft. Where he abode, akena nae, kanisani, bali anaka, and laid upon him on his own bed. And he cried unto the Lord. May God give you a man of God. This is your man of God. Who cries unto the Lord, making intercession for you. Oh Lord, my God. Has thou also brought evil upon the widow with whom I sojourn? Uyu mwenye alinishikili ya umemiletia hii? Mungu. Uyu mwenye aliakikisha ni meva. Aliakikisha ni melipa rent ya kanisa. Mungu. Uyu mwenye aliakikisha mchungaji ya kona tabasamu. Umechukua mtoto wake. Atiana kazi. Ask your neighbor, do you have a relationship with your past? Look at what the prophet did. And he stretched himself upon the child three times. Akililia mungu. Oh Lord my God, I pray thee. Let this child's soul come into his body again. And the Lord heard the voice of Apostle Dennis. Of Reverend Lee. And the soul of the child came into him again and he revived because of a genuine relationship you have with a pastor. Healing came. I pray today nothing will remove you from your prophet. He was out to say, My father, where my healing flows from? I pray, oh God, give me a grace to love my pastor like never before. Pray that prayer from the bottom of your heart. From the bottom of your heart. Graceful, I can't hear prayer here. Graceful, I can't hear prayer here. Graceful, I can't hear prayer here. Grace, I can't hear prayer here. Inside your man of God, there is a healing virtue. If you can touch the hem of his garment, oh, the anointing will flow from him to you. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Shakata la 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 ba ba ba. Rikati riri brakala la ba ba ba. Shantu brukulu zita liri ba ba. In Jesus' name, clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. So that is ex those are the things that cause sicknesses and diseases in our body. Number one, Satan. Number two, ignorance. Number three, bitterness. Number four, unbelief. Number five, jealousy. And number six, lack of proper connection with your servant of God. Someone say, Amen. Let me just do this in three minutes and then we can take some time to pray. How do you receive your healing? How exactly are you going to receive your healing? Number one, you must establish that it is God's will for you to be healed. Stop saying 
God is teaching you a lesson using sickness. Sickness is not the Holy Spirit. Third John chapter 2. The prayer of John to Gaius. For Gaius. And I pray that you will be. Third John. Somebody say it is God's will for me to be healed. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health. So that is the will of God for your life. If Jesus wants you sick, why was he healing the sick? Why did he die? It must enter your mind, subconscious mind, your body and your spirit man. God wants me well. He wants me healthy. Can I get a better amen here? Amen. Number two, you, you must appreciate that sickness can be caused by evil spirits. Sickness will be caused by evil spirits. Luke chapter number 13. Verse 11 to 13. Luke 13, 11 to 13. Luke chapter 13. Verse 11. Behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity. So, infirmity can be a spirit. Please, can I get a good amen? And you can cast it out. Sicknesses can be caused by evil spirits. Acts 10, 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ. He went about. How God anointed Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing. Who are they being healed? All that were oppressed by what? So biblically that sickness was the oppression of the devil evil spirits. Number three, learn to cast the sickness. Cast the sickness. Cast it. Cast it. Somebody say, malaria, I cast you. I, I wish you could do better. I cast you. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, every sickness in my body, receive a cast. I curse you. Oh yeah. Don't wake up in the morning and spin. No, 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 no. Sickness, I curse you. Leave my child's body. Leave the, my body, my, the body of my parents. Oh yeah. Curse you. Take authority over those things. Mark eleven twenty one. Apostle read it. You must recognize that Jesus is the greatest physician. And, that I, and I can preach about that the whole day. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is the greatest physician. Oh yeah. He's the doctor of all doctors. When he gives you his medication, they have no side effects. Jesus is the only one who can heal a million people at a go. When you go to Jesus, he will not refer you. I'm telling you why he is the doctor. He can heal you without performing any operation. He heals only by his spoken word. Nowhere in scripture did he send people unhealed. He heals immediately. He heals permanently. He heals freely. Tell your neighbor he will heal you free. He's the only one who can heal using saliva and sand. He has spare parts. He has spare parts for your body. I want you to imagine a whole warehouse of spare parts in heaven. Whole warehouse of spare parts in heaven. He can give you a new kidney, a new heart. So much unbelief here. 
Do I have believers here? He can give you new eyes. He can give you a new, a new, a new pancreas. He can give you new, new teeth. He is the master physician. And he does not only heal physical sicknesses. He can heal emotional diseases. Spiritual diseases. Generational diseases. He can heal financial diseases. One of the reasons I preach so much about healing is I have seen families sell everything for one person to be well. The enemy can easily attack your finances through sickness and diseases. I have seen people and apart of me moja and a part of 150k and a part of 500,000 she does 700,000 in a toke. Jesus, his prescriptions have never failed. He does not need to carry out any tests. He can just heal you. I want us to stand up and call on Jesus the healer. So much I can't finish today. But I want you to stand up and, and I want us to pray. Is that okay, Apostle? Oh. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. My my teachers in theology told me that it's called crash landing. I just I just finished. Are you blessed? Good to see you, mom. Oh not. <laughs> I'm waiting if we can stand and Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Can I do something? It may sound strange. I don't know anything. Amen. Anybody unwell? You need healing in your body. Lift your hand. You really need healing. You need really, really healing. Lift your hand. Amen. This is what I want us to do. This may. But... This is a prayer meeting. Amen.